Hi, you guys. If you want to learn how to make my easy and delicious short ribs, stay tuned. So I have around three pounds or so of short ribs here and I'm just gonna season them liberally with some salt and pepper. I'm gonna press that seasoning into the meat and of course flip it over to season the other side as well. I wanna make sure that these short ribs are well seasoned. So I'm just gonna flip them over on the sides to scrape up um, any residual salt and pepper um, on the bottom of this dish. And now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the stove so we can give them a nice sear. During this step, you definitely don't wanna overcrowd your pan. So you may have to uh, sear your short ribs in batches like I'm doing here. And you just wanna give them a minute or so on um, each side to make sure that they get a nice sear. Ooh, that one's good. A nice sear on uh, each side. So once we got our nice golden brown color all over our short ribs, we're going to go ahead and take this batch out and go ahead and sear the next one. All right, so these are looking absolutely, look at that sear. That looks so good. These are looking absolutely delicious. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this batch out. I ended up pouring out at least half of the oil that was in this pan. And now we're gonna go ahead and saute some onions. I used a whole onion here and they were frozen. Um, They were frozen onions. So that's about a whole, I guess a medium sized onion. And then of course, I'm gonna be adding in some minced garlic, about a tablespoon or so. Just add in as much or as little as you would like. You definitely don't wanna burn your garlic. So you only wanna do this for a good 30 to 45 seconds and that's it. So now we're gonna go ahead and pour in our red wine and I'm using the Stella Rosa Black, uh, which is really, really good. It's not super tart, but it's not super sweet either. And I'm pouring in at least a cup or so of that red wine. Wine, and this is going to reduce for a little bit at least two to three minutes or so just to kind of cook that wine down and then I'm also going to be putting in about a tablespoon or so of tomato paste I'm going to continue to let these ingredients cook down for a few minutes and then we're going to go ahead and add in our stock and I'm going to be using mushroom stock I really love the flavor I made me a great bowl of ramen using this mushroom stock and I thought it would go perfectly for this dish so I'm just going to be using about a cup or a cup and a half or so of that mushroom stock. But of course you can use any stock you want, beef stock, chicken stock, or even just water. I also added in about a cup of water as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and season with some salt and pepper, onion powder and garlic powder, the usual. I'm also adding in this authentic all-purpose Greek seasoning, which is super yummy. And I'm also adding in an Italian blend that has marjoram, basil, rosemary, thyme, oregano. And I'm also gonna be using the these um, bouillon cubes I use two of those and two bay leaves you guys and we're gonna go ahead and give this a nice stir and let this simmer for a couple minutes and of course what do we do every single time we're cooking we're going to taste you guys taste your sauce to make sure that it is delicious and this was absolutely delicious I didn't have to add in anything else it was just packed full of flavor you guys it tasted so yummy so now we're going to go ahead and add in our short ribs and at this point as well you want to make sure that you have enough liquid in your pan to braise the ribs properly because they will be braising for a long period of time so they don't have to be submerged but you know close to it also added in the juices that came off of the short ribs while they were sitting and put a lid on my pot by the way you guys this is an oven safe dish as well so if you don't have a pot that can go from the stove to the oven make sure that you just transfer your ingredients into an oven safe dish I cooked these short ribs for two and a half hours at 325 degrees and oh my goodness you guys i just wish you guys can take in the delicious aroma coming out of this pot i made some homemade mashed potatoes and you guys have seen me do that before if you haven't i will link that video in the description below so i'm gonna do a moment of silence so you guys can really take in all of this goodness
Oh my gosh, you guys, if I only had three adjectives to describe this meal, it would definitely be mouthwatering, flavorful, and just decadent, y'all. This meal is the equivalent of giving someone a huge, huge bear hug and letting them know how much you love them. <laughs> like, it's just that good and comforting, you guys. And I served it alongside some asparagus and a dinner roll. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and even share with a friend. I thank you guys so much again for clicking and watching. Make sure you go to my food playlist where uh, you will see a whole bunch of other delicious and easy recipes. And I will see y'all on the next one. Until then, bye.